We are just loading the day's sail list. Probably seen the forecast. There's a range of everything from zero to potentially 18 to 19 later in the day. So we have to go from the J1 to the 1.5 to the 2 to the 3. 14 sails. 14 sails. Yeah. And we try and make it easy for the guys in the chase. You know, when they come alongside to dig for a sail, it's pretty frustrating. So if we've got some kind of order that we think the weather is going to go in, it makes life a little bit easier. And your forecast for the day? <sighs> I mean, I would say a relatively slow start and then a thermal that's looking good from, say, 3 until 7 o'clock might get in the way of the owners, did it? <laughs> did I say that? <laughs> Welcome to the third day of racing here in Puerto Portales for 52 Super Series. A sea breeze conditions are expected. We should get a couple of races in. Ran racing at the top of the table, but anyone could win. The breeze is going to come more right, like 200, 240. It's going to be very unstable till uh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So I think it's good the AP flag on shore. It is a great venue for people from outside sailing, bring them in, make them love the sport, eventually they will become sailors in a not distant future. I love this boat, very cool, I want one. Possible owner, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of people in this incredible place dress like I dress. This is how you stand out, not fit in, yeah. You got the hat, floppy hat, you got the long sleeve shirt under the team shirt, and the long pants. The long sleeve pants. Yeah, this is the look for 2017. You're gonna see Prada 2018 is gonna be wearing all this stuff the next America's Cup. Well the fourth race got away, a small delay for the breeze to build, but it came in nicely from the southwest. A very, very even start. Platoon Gladiator Sled all had good starts. Sled starting midline. Prevets attack off from the committee boat at end of the line. Azura gets squeezed out and have to take a penalty. Sled have a really, really good lay line into the windward mark. They lead from Gladiator come in from the left with Prevets a third and ran fourth round the top mark. Platoon get up to second with a nice rounding and good uh, second beat. At the finish line, it's Sled, Platoon in second, and Pavetza in third. I'm quite a conservative sailor, so, you know, we stay in the middle, don't take too much risk, and rely on, you know, good boat speed and uh, good boat handling. Hopefully, pretty solid tactics without too many mistakes. <laughs> Well, a small delay while the race uh, courses move slightly to the west and closer inshore to get a more stable breeze. 10 to 11 knots in the start line. Brunanasek and Quantum Racing get a good start at the committee boat end of the line. Azura down on the left on the pin end. But the trend is to the right. Sled are good uh, all the way up the first beat. And uh, once again, a real precision lay line from them. They lead round the top mark from Brunanasek with Quantum Racing in third. Downwind, Quantum Racing managed to get... Uh, through Brennanisek with a good jibe set. Sled lead at the gate. Sled win once again. A very, very close finish with Quantum Racing getting second. Platoon third at Brennanisek dropping just at the end down to fourth place. We knew it was going to be like this because uh, we were getting a little bit uh, compressed the whole fleet. This is the level you have to play. We pulled those uh, two extra lanes that made us pass uh, the blue boat and close in second. We finished this last race and I just said to everybody, man, that was a lot of fun. That was fun, good, tight racing, really tight, but a lot of fun and, you know, we can't have better racing than that. Ah, uh, yeah, we're very cool. Um, we haven't had one of these days in a long time. In this caliber fleet, lead around every mark and, and win both races is, uh, you know, something very special. We'll definitely have a nice cold beer once we're all packed up and we'll have a good cheers to that. After five races then, Ran Racing lead on 19 points, second Sled on 21 points, third Quantum Racing on 21 points, fourth Prevetsa on 22 points and Platoon on 22 points. So the Bay of Palma delivering two good races for the 52 Super Series today. Join us for the next races on 52 Super Series TV. Now's the time to go down to the club lounge for a little sundowner. Thank you very much, thank you very much to the